and welcome to Start It Up. Today we're going to talk about a business opportunity which is though technical in nature but it is extremely rewarding and self-satisfying because the business that you will do will make a great impact to the nature and to the environment in the years to come. Yes, today we're going to talk about an opportunity in electric vehicle charging. So today green mobility is the order of the day and electric vehicles are really what is leading this green mobility forward. In fact, the Indian government has been so excited about this opportunity that they have gone ahead and said that by 2030, all electric vehicles on the road will change from or transform from internal combustion engine to electric vehicles. So while I don't see this really happening 100%, but I do see a great opportunity in the two-wheelers and three-wheelers EV space, which will probably go up to as high as 70 to 80 percent of usage by 2030. One of the major hurdles that is keeping the use of EVs on the roads is really the lack of public charging infrastructure. So in order to improve the charging infrastructure and also to give entrepreneurial avenues, the, the, the central government has recently delicensed the setting up of public charging stations. In other words, and any individual or any entity can set up an EV public charging station as long as they are able to meet the technical specifications that have been laid down by the government. So if you would like to make a change to the environment and you are passionate about sustainability and about electrical engineering, this might just be the right business opportunity for you to look at. Number one. EV charging stations are an extremely complex play of hardware, software, installation services, operation and maintenance. So firstly you need to research about who is it that you're trying to service. Are you trying to service trucks or EV space in two-wheelers or three-wheelers or cars? And depending upon that, specification of the charges would need to be set up for putting up this charging station. Number two, you would then need to identify the location where there is probably the maximum usage of electric vehicles happening currently around your vicinity so that the right public station so that you are able to generate the right business for your EV station. Now you need to start connecting and making relationships with for people who are manufacturers of EV chargers. Some notable manufacturers could be AVB, Delta Electronics, Exicon Power Solutions amongst others. You can also be adventurous enough to do it all yourself, build your own chargers but it could take anyway much longer between an year to probably probably even more. Apart from hardware and technology needs, you're also going to need some local certifications and clearances coming from the government. So while setting up the EV charging business does not require any license, but every state has different power compliances. Therefore, one needs to be in touch with the power supplier and fix the electricity rates. So let me tell you what are the minimum requirements that are needed today by the government for you to set up an EV charging station. This is a quick checklist of the requirements for which charging infrastructure for electric vehicles and guideline standard notifications have put forward. So number one, an exclusive transformer with all related substation equipment including safety appliances. Number two, 33 by 11 KB cables with associated equipment for line termination or meeting. Number three, appropriate and good quality civil works. Number four, adequate space to not only install the charger but also to see easy entry and exit of the vehicles from your charging station. Number five, the charging stations must have electricity kiosks with installation of the charging bottles. Currently, CCS and CH ADE MO international standards are being followed by the manufacturers. Number six, you would need to partner with at least one network service provider to enable booking of online charging slot. Number seven, data collected should be shared with the distribution company and the central electric authority. Number eight, a public charging electric station can be operational only it has, after it has cleared all inspection uh, parameters and therefore been given a go ahead by the electric personnel assigned by the distribution company. Number nine, public charging stations can also offer standalone battery swapping facilities if conditions so allow. So these are some of the important considerations that you will have to do if you're setting up a public charging electric vehicle station. It may not be required if it is a private use electric charging station. Typical, a minimum investment of about rupees 50 lakhs is needed to start a EV station. Now largely if we were to break up these costs, there would be five heads under which these costs would come. One is the installation of the charger itself. The maintenance of the charger is another big cost that you will have to take or bear on an ongoing basis. The third cost is probably all the 
certification costs that you will have to bear in order for the electric vehicle uh, charging certifications to come in. Fourth will be the ongoing electricity cost that will be owned by you which will be charged by the distribution company. And number five will be the manpower cost, ideally not too much, it could be flexible one to two people as per your own requirements. We are still in very early days and nascent adoption of electric vehicles. While the business itself is going to be very lucrative for you as electric vehicles continue to grow on the road. But right now, with the growing acceptance of electric vehicles, one has to wait for some time before returns to come. So one may expect a yearly revenue of rupees 15 to 20 lakh rupees in the initial years. Another thing to bear in mind that the electrical tariffs and subsidies will be different for different regions and therefore also influence the revenues that are being targeted by the business. So this is just a great business opportunity waiting for all of you in the energy space happening right out there. And just in case, if you are an energy entrepreneur or looking to start an energy related business, EV public charging station may just be the right opportunity for you to go through. I hope you like this episode of Start It Up. Please join us for the next episode as we present you many and varied business opportunities. Thank you for joining us today. Liked the video? Then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Entrepreneur India. Hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos.